in this video we're going to be looking at the ASP.NET uh, login control. Uh, the login control displays a standard user login form with two text boxes that a uh, user can use to input the username and the password in order to get access to private content on the website. Uh, the login control supports a lot of properties that can be used to modify the look and feel uh, and the functionalities of the control. If you want to access a page that requires authentication, ASP.NET will automa automatically redirect you to the login page. So uh, anytime you want to access um, any private page, the uh, ASP.NET has the ability to redirect you to the login page. You don't have to do anything. If you want to, anytime you click on a page that doesn't, that you're not allowed to view, it will automatically redirect you to the login page. And after you have been authenticated, you will be redirected back to the original page that you wanted to access. Uh, you can use two forms. You can use two uh, forms of orientation. You can use two types of uh, orientation, which are the vertical and the horizontal uh, orientation. In order, in order not to show the login control to all users who have been authenticated, especially if you have added a login control to a master page, you can set the visible when logged in property to false. So sometimes you play, I mean, the, the ideal place to place um, uh, a login control, you can also place a login control on the master page. Say, for example, at the top, where user can, uh, whenever a new, a, whenever user come into your website, they don't have to do anything. They can see the login at the top. So when they le log into the website, you can set the visible when logged in property to false. So that means when the user has logged in, they won't be able to see it. So let's go ahead now and modify. Uh, so first of all, we're going to go to our login page. Remember, we have a login page. This is our login page. So what we'll do is we'll actually had uh, you go to the toolbox under the login uh, heading. You want to drag the login control there. So this is what it looks like. You can, you know, you can make it large, big. Uh, we can uh, make it center. And as you see here inside, the, um, you can change the back color, the border color, the padding, the style the width, the checkbox style, the create is there's a lot of properties you can use to uh, change the property. You have the destination page URL so that once the user is uh, registered, once they click on log uh, login, you can change the, so I want to change this to om.aspx so once they click on login, they will take them to the, so you can also display remember me so if you want the user to be remembered, uh, once they tick on this checkbox, let me show you this checkbox, if they say remember me, you can also, um, uh, let's see, remember, display remember me, we can set it to true or false, I'm going to leave it as true here. Uh, you can enable theming, remember when we do theming, uh, after you add theme to your website. Uh, failure action, if there's a failure, you want to refresh the page or you want to uh, redirect to to login page you know uh, what else so there's a lot of uh, most of them are self-explanatory so the login button image URL you can add instead of using the button you can use a link you can use the login button type it can be a button remember we did all the image and link button so what else what else what else what else um, okay so what we want to do now is uh, now that we've added this login to the login page. So let's let's try it. Let's attempt it. So we've got a user by the name of uh, admin and a password with password and a dollar sign. So let's try and log into our page and see if it's going to redirect us back to the. So the username is admin, and the password is password with a dollar sign at the back. You can say remember me next time login yes you see now I've uh, been redirected back to the home page which is the property that we just said so now I'm going to go back to the VWD 2008 and request to view 
Oh, actually, what we should do, the best way to do it is to redirect to the private page. So, so let's select our login control, and instead of redirecting to the om aspx we should direct to the private page aspx so okay staff okay we want to ask, access this page okay right so this is the page that we want to access so let's try it again so my username is admin my password is password and a dollar sign I remember me next time this is going to work on a live page but as you can see now uh, this is a private page so we can access it because we are now an authenticated user so uh, the property that I also want to show you is the uh, show visible when the user is logged in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place another login control in the navigation section at the top here so I'm going to place a login control there but uh, so I want to show you two properties the first property is the orientation which I'm going to set the to horizontal so I'm going to set this uh, the orientation oh so orientation by default is vertical so I want to change it to horizontal then I want to remove the display remember me I want to set it to false so display remember me I want to set it to false so it makes it smaller and uh, if you can see as well it makes it big because at the top here it has a text so we can change the text for the if you go to text type to text to login name we're going to leave that to be empty so it can become so more slimmer as you see now is now so I can put I can uh, okay what else do I want to do? I think that's so. Okay, now I want to set visible visible when logged in to false. False. Okay. So now that I've p uh, done that, so what I'm going to do now is, if this will be visible on all our pages now because it's on the master page. So if we go to the uh, login page, again, let's save everything. Let's save everything. As you can see, we have the uh, login control also in the navigation bar of the login page. So let's run our page now. And uh, when we log in, we should be able to see that. Uh, so let's log in. Let's log in. And our, yeah, it's going to be admin. Our password is going to be password with a dollar sign. And if we click on login, when it redirects us to the um, as you see now it has disappeared because now we are authenticated so that means it's not going to visib uh, visible when we have logged in so these are the two properties of uh, the uh, login control that I want to show you so in the next video we're going to be talking about other uh, login controls thank you